All right, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna be doing a guide for Liu Kang. Uh, he's actually a very strong character and he plays uh, similar to how he did in MK11. So I think you guys won't have a hard time learning him. If you played him in MK11, it'll be a lot easier for you guys to uh, pick this character up and kind of see what he does. Uh, and my name is Averick. You might know me from MK11 as well for playing Scorpion. I compete in a bunch of tournaments and yeah, before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dashfight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Alright, let's start off with a very general overview of the character. So first let's go over his special moves. He has good projectiles, uh, you can zone with him very well. There's uh, back four one, there's down back one. So these are his main projectiles, you can also jump and do back four one. He has this, which is an armor break and it's also good for corner carry. And then he has back four three, which is flying kick. And that's kind of all the special moves you're really going to use. Uh, this is pretty situational, but you can still kind of get uh, damage off of it if you hit confirm. And then his best strings are 1, 2. The reason why 1, 2 is good is because uh, 0 on block, so you can get away with doing stuff like this. Once they start respecting, you can even throw. And then standing 1 is also very fast, and it's plus 3. So it's 6 frame startup, and it's uh, three, uh, plus 3 on block. So you can punish a lot of stuff that other characters normally can't. Like, for example, Lao's uh, armor is minus 6 or minus 7, and most characters can't punish it, but Lu can with this. Uh, his forward one is good, it goes pretty far, it's not the best, but it goes forward one uh, and four. Uh, this can lead to combos that like you can hit confirm with this. Now, I'll show the combos in a different section, but that's kind of uh, one route that you can go uh, go to. Um, from here, you kind of want to throw pokes, you don't want to use um, forward four from here, because it's probably going to whiff. This goes kind of far, but his range is not that good, so from here, you kind of want to close in with down three or down four. And uh, yeah, that's kind of his best buttons. 2-2 uh, two, two is also really good because plus 3. So you can kind of do this and then go into that. And if they're mashing, they're going to get hit. Keep in mind, the follow-up is a high. So if I set him to duck, and I'll turn this off. So as you can see, the second hit whiffs. You can get full combo punish for that. Uh, that's when you kind of get into the mind games of like this, for example. But we'll get into that later. I just kind of want to go over a brief overview, kind of get you guys to understand how the character plays. He's a very solid strike throw character. He does good damage. He has good zoning. His one weakness is from here. He's not the best. You kind of have to use pokes. Uh, in the next section, I'll go into more depth into like what he's trying to do and everything like that, how to start his offense and also his BNBs. So let's get into that section next. All right, now let's get into the more in-depth side of the character. So. From around here, you're going to want to throw a lot of projectiles. Uh, just because from this range, he's not the best. You can really only get away with pokes from here. Any other button you throw out is going to whiff. Uh, that's probably his biggest weakness as well. He just does not have great range. Even though he makes up for it when he's like in and he's up close, he has really good strike throw. He'd also combo off his throw. I'll show that later on in the BNB section. And 4-4 four, four is the string that you're going to get the most damage with. You're going to, you're going to be, this is going to be your main combo starter for sure. So from here, throw projectiles, try to get in, make them get impatient, then they're going to start jumping, you can anti-air, kind of follow up from there. And then once you get in, you're going to want to use this string, you can stagger it. Uh, the full string is 4, 4, 3, 4. So that's a good string too. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is, there is a gap there. So if they false pocket, you do get a full punish from there. That's when this mind game kind of comes into play so if they're trying to false block it you do stuff like this they're gonna get hit by that every single time if they're trying to false block it and also if you want to go for a big lead you can do this even on block uh and if you do that you're gonna if they're trying to false block they're gonna get opened up for sure and you can follow up but it is risky so keep that in mind you're also spending a meter when you do this so you're not gonna be able to break it. if they if they read it they block it and then you're gonna get punished um we'll go over his his other offense that you could do so I'll set this to reverse so down one to show this so this is a really good mid but the issue is that it ends with the high that's when you're gonna start doing stuff like block and then grab or I don't think you have enough frames to backdash what you do so you could do like from max range like the range is kind of tricky but you could get it from from max range this is pretty situational uh, but you do get a good follow-up and good damage, but generally just do this until you get conditioned. Certain cameos also block that 
uh, block that uh, high part. So Lao's does not because too slow, but you can pick a cameo where that gets stuffed out and they're gonna start respecting that a lot more and you can get your offense going better. And then, so I'll turn this off and then one, two is good for only up close. You're not gonna wanna throw this from here. It's, it's gonna whiff 100% of the time. If you wanna throw a button from here, use forward four or use forward one. Forward one has good range as well. Forward four is generally better because it's you can stagger it, you can do stuff like and then I need to turn the reversal off. So Oh it's practicing with bugged out. Okay. So forward four and then grab. Forward four three, grab. And then once they start trying to follow spock and they're not respecting your string as much, you do stuff like this. And that's actually plus two on block, so it's your turn after this. And if they mash, let's say standing one after, you do this. Follow up with one two. Since it's six frames, you're gonna hit them guaranteed. If they if they follow up with the high string or mid, uh, if they do a poke, you're gonna get beat out. But you could do stuff like this then back dash. So let me turn this back on. So if you do stuff like this. Or here. Oh, did I see this a random? Sorry, just one second. There we go. So, so this plus two. So do a back dash, full punish. You can also hit, visually hit confirm the back two. Uh, it does take some time to get used to it. Uh, so if you see that they poke, you're guaranteed to go into that, and then you can follow up with whatever combo you want. I won't show too many of the BNBs yet, but I'll get into that in a different section. I just kind of want to show you how to play the character. Don't be afraid to throw. Uh, this is a very good shimmy, so people are gonna get opened up by that. And just stagger a lot. You can even do standing one, and then back dash, hit them. And then once they get conditioned, you can start grabbing up your standing one. Once he gets in, he's a very, very solid character. He's very oppressive. You have to guess a lot. If you get thrown, you're eating like 26%. If you get opened up, you're eating like almost 40%. So he's very good. Don't be afraid to throw a lot of projectiles from here. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what the character's trying to do. If you guys have any questions about how to start your offense or, you know, it, it can be a little challenging at first, but just make sure you throw projectiles and use your pokes. Once you get in, just constantly pressure them. And then the next section will also go over his cameos and his BNBs. Okay, next let's go over his cameos. So the two I found that work really well with Lu are Cyrax and Kung Lao. Cyrax generally works with every single character, just about every single character. And I would not be surprised if he gets nerfed in the future. I kind of hope he gets nerfed because I don't like using him, him as a cameo. And you kind of need to uh, with how the meta is right now. But I'll kind of show that more uh, later on. I would focus more on Kung Lao with this character though. Uh, so that's kind of what I mainly want to show. So the reason I chose Kung Lao is because of this. So as soon as he turns, press R1 and you get a follow up. So because he has a really good strike throw, and people are scared to get hit by this, because if you get hit by this, you're eating like a lot of damage. And it's also an auto shimmy, so if they try to tech forward four, like they, they think you're going to throw, and you throw this out, they're going to get opened up. Uh, that's when you can start doing stuff like grabbing them, and basically like an MK11 like crushing blow. So this is really, really good. Another reason why I like Lao is because of this move. This is really good because it prevents them from false blocking the gap uh, in forward four, so you do stuff like this. And he's also good from, since he's lose a good zoner, you can do stuff like that. You can get in for free, because Lou does have bad buttons, so you could get in for free with stuff like this to follow up. And then his teleport, I would not recommend using this just in neutral, because you're going to get anti basically guaranteed. You can get damage off of this as well. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do it if you want to save meter. Uh, this is a very basic combo. But you can get pretty good damage if you don't want to spend meter because you have to spend meter to launch him unless you go uh, back back to three. So it's kind of why I picked Kung Lao is mainly because of the throw. So the timing is as soon as you see him turn, you hit R1 and you follow with back to three. This is back one. If you hold it, uh, then it, it kind of stays there. And as soon as you let go, it just launches. So... There's also a mind game here because of this string, so it's standing three to two. Uh, it ends in an overhead, so you can do stuff like like that. That's also really good. That's really hard to block that too if you time it right. 
But yeah, that's the reason I use Kung Lao. I would recommend using Kung Lao, uh, especially at the start. Cyrax is a little bit trickier, but he has a lot more uh, broke stuff, so he can also combo off this. The timing is pretty difficult. Uh, you're not going to get it as consistent. So you do that, and then you can follow up with the flying kick. And then the reason why I like Cyrax is because Lou has a hard time getting in, but with this move, you can do stuff like... Even if you want to do like an armored wake up, you can keep yourself safe. So you do this and then you hold R1, which is really good. You can also start doing stuff like, here, I'll put this to block. So let's say you do this. First one off. All right, so you do. And then you're safe there and it does good chip. You build your meter. So that's basically how you play Cyrax. With this character, it's pretty simple. There are some combo routes for it. I still prefer Kung Lao, but I just want to show you guys Cyrax. If maybe you're not a fan of Kung Lao and you don't like how he plays as a cameo, then consider using Cyrax. But that's it for the cameos. Next, we'll go over BNBs. Okay, now let's go over all of his BNBs. Uh, for this section, I'm just going to have my mic off just because it's going to be easier for you guys to follow with the button notation on the screen. Uh, but before we get into that, I actually want to point one thing out. So. It's about how to meet you with this character, so if I set this to his armor, so you armors when he gets up, if you meet you with board 4, you actually get an armor break, so, and then you get guaranteed damage, so remember that whenever you knock people down, meet you with board 4, after they start respecting it, you can start throwing everything like that. But yeah, now let's get into the BNBs, I'll just have my mic muted, and if you guys have any issues with any of the combos, just put in the comments and I'll let you know. Uh, maybe why it's not working and I'll hop out as much as I can. Okay, so that's always mid-screen BNBs. It's very, very simple. Basically, as soon as you launch, you just want to go into 3-3-3. There three, three, three. is a little bit of a dash, and you might drop it at first. Uh, so, if you're having a hard time getting the 3 kicks, just go into the 2. Just do stuff like dash up, 3-3 three, three into that. Uh, more, it's more often if you can get all 3, but if you're having an issue, just do that. And then in the corner, it's very similar. Like, it, it, he's a very simple character, to be completely honest. Like. The combos are almost the exact same. You can just get a little bit more damage, so. You can actually get a little bit more, but it's kind of tricky to time it for three bars, so. So something like that, you can keep enhancing the the amplified flying kick to get more damage. I wouldn't recommend spending more than two bars on his combos though. So kind of keep it to the ones I showed you. His combo routes are very very simple. They're easy to do. Just kind of follow what I what I showed you, and then maybe if, if you find a different route, you can go with that. Uh, you can start with one two. You can do one two with this. It's the same route. You could do forward one to that, and then follow up with this. And then you always want to go into back 2-3 after. Also keep in mind that in the corner, when you do a grab, you're still going to keep your corner positioning, which is actually really good. So that's all of his BNBs. Uh, again, if you have any issues with them, just let me know and I'll help out as much as I can. Alright, for the last part of the guide, we're just going to go over his strengths and weaknesses. I kind of covered this before. So his strengths are, he's very oppressive when you get in. like. His strike throw is insane, maybe the best in the game. Uh, just because this shimmies, you can get a throw and then guarantee damage from there. He also has really good zoning. Uh, this is a low, this is a high, if you amplify it, it's a mid. And the only weakness he has is from around this range, he's just not the best character. It can be hard to whiff punish people. You can really only get pokes from here. A lot of characters have this issue, but I think Lou has, has this issue a lot more 
prominent in his character just because he has some of the shortest range for his buttons. But once you get in, he's one of the best characters in the game. I wouldn't say he's a top five character, but he's he's really good still. He also has an extremely fast stand one. I believe it's the fastest in the game. You can punish a lot of stuff that normally you can't, like Kung Lao's armor, for example. You can also use this to get out of pressure. Uh, if the, you see they stagger something, just throw this out. It's six frames, so a lot of the time you will beat them out if they're if they're minus enough. And that's kind of his strengths and weaknesses. Again, the character is very simple. He's, he's an easy character to use, but that does not mean he's a bad character. So I do hope this guide helped. And again, if you have any questions, just let me know. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for the guide. I really do hope it was helpful. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer all of them. Liu Kang is a very good character. It'll take you a little bit of adjusting to his lack of range, but just be sure that you're throwing a lot of projectiles when you're when you're from this range because people are going to start mashing buttons. They're going to start backing up on you, so you're going to really need to throw projectiles. There's a lot of mind games with this. Uh, you guys will be able to experiment with this more and find out uh, your own routes for it. Generally, people like to do this and jump in and get damage that way. But yeah, that, that's going to do it for the guide. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. And you can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. And if you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. Thanks again for watching, and I really hope the guide helped. Alright, take care everyone.